Hi everyone. In a past video, I had talked to you guys about um, a pattern that I did, and I'll link it up above, that um, didn't go well together. It When I made this garment, the pattern was flawed. Now, I'm not here to bash anybody. I know that everybody is just human and some things just don't work out, whether it's the editing process or I don't know, did they not make a mock-up of it or whatever. Um, I had an issue with the pattern in the past. So I've decided um, that I wanted to critique this pattern. I also had mentioned in another video, talk about pricing, that it's hard to get your money's worth out of a garment you make for somebody. But even with that, because I love sewing so much, I've decided that because I do alterations and they're boring and not creative at all, um, not fun, that I would make and sell children's clothes at our local farmer's market and maybe online. It just depends. So I've decided I'm going to start making children's clothes. And so for this video, I am going to make this top right here. And I have my uh, a, a fabric that I chose that I think is super, super cute. Um, and I kind of want to critique the pattern as I go. And in order to be able to critique it, I'm going to have to make it following the instructions exactly. This is going to be very hard for me because I don't follow instructions very well because when you've had this many years of experience, you kind of have your way of doing things, but I'm going to try and follow it exactly how it goes and let you see if there are problems along the way. If not, then you get to see how this, this particular top is put together. I'm not doing the whole outfit. I'm going to do just the top. If I do one side, uh, seem I may not show you the other I'm trying to keep the video from getting so long and my intention is to keep the talking to a minimum so I will have uh, text and then I will probably put some music in the background so it's not too boring so if you're interested in this and in critiquing patterns um, let me know in the comments and I can do more and um, if there are particular children's outfits that you would like to see, let me know. And I'm just going to tell you, I'm really excited because though I don't like making clothes for particular people, I love just making clothes. And I found fabric. I'm making these out of 100% cotton fabric, whether it's knit or woven. And I found the fabric for 70% off. So I'm really excited. And I think there's a chance that I can actually make a profit off of it. So, yay me. Anyway, all the tools I'll be using in this video will be linked in the description box because I have some pretty cool stuff and I was excited to use them in this video. So, um, let's get started. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment.
Okay, I sewed this up and I forgot to press record, so it wasn't that exciting anyway. It's important not to get too much gathered up right here. I just get a little overexcited. <laughs> okay, and there's my spaghetti strap. Okay, so I am trying to follow the instructions just like they say the way I understand them and this is making me crazy because the pattern says to cut a half a yard of elastic for the back and I did and it's not gathering so just for this video I'm putting it together because there's just a lot of um things I think that don't get updated in patterns or something I mean did they do a test first because there's no gather and I don't know a six-year-old or a size six that is that big you know that it doesn't need a gather so I will end up fixing it but I just want to see what it looks like if I follow the instructions the way they say and I'm really worried about um, <laughs> doing the hem I don't know what it says yet but I will check it as far as this elastic, I was, I was really, you're thinking, oh, oh my gosh, I must have read it wrong. There, it can't be a half a yard, but I read it like three times and maybe I'll show you the instructions and maybe I'm wrong, but this just doesn't make any sense. I'm trying to find the center. I think that's it. I mean, not that it matters. It just makes me feel better. So now i don't know how they say to finish off the tie unless it's like fold it over and sew it but i'm not going to do that i'm going to tie it you know they usually just tie these in a knot i think that's what i'm going to do because why not since they didn't say what to do good for me take it all the way to the end if i can Okay, the strap instructions say to fold it like this. So fold the end in and then fold it in like this. And then like this and then like this. And this is a no-go for me this would get stuck inside my machine and I don't want to deal with that and I guess there's different ways you can do it you can sew through some fabric first and then put this in and use that tab to kind of pull it through but I didn't do that what I did was I fold it right sides together and I 
on one end I sewed it across and down. The only reason I sewed it across is so that I can use my turner to grab this corner here and then I sewed down about a, a quarter inch from the edge all the way down and then I turned it inside out and then I just tied off the ends of the strap so whatever um, and then the hem they say do a narrow hem but I don't know if I want to do that either what I might do is fold it like this and do the double needle but I haven't decided but um, this like, like I said this was really bothering me so what I'm going to do is open it here pull the elastic cut it and then butt them up together probably with some fabric on the bottom and then sew it back together tuck it in and sew it closed <sighs> yeah anyway I can't wait to get it done I think it's gonna be really cute now one thing I haven't mentioned yet is that the pattern doesn't even call for knit fabric <laughs> I think I just got started off wrong anyway but it is so cute I love these stripes and I think you can wear it with a lot of different things uh, different fabrics on the bottom you can do a denim you can do any of the colors um, you can do a legging it's just really cute so yeah we'll get we'll get this finished
Okay, I finished the hem and I'm almost finished. I'm just gonna fix this elastic. This is 17 inches across, so that's 34 inches around. Um, I'm sure there are some six-year-olds that are this size, but um, I don't see a whole lot. So I'm going to fix this. I'm going to um, measure someone this age, or I will go online and find a standard size, although there's technically not a standard size, but there are a lot of children's websites that um, will give their measurements and I'll just kind of choose something like that. Okay, I did the measurements um, or I looked up some measurements and decided that I would do a 23 inch around. And so if this is 17 and this is 17, that's 34. And then I did all the numbers. And so what it would end up being is six inches across the back. So um, if it was six inches, I think it was, I would have to take 11 inches off. And I thought it would be too much just thinking about it. But if you think about the kind of outfit this is, you're going to want this to kind of wrap around the sides and a little to the back so that there's no gaping on the sides. And also when you gather this up the front, you'll want this, like I said, to wrap around the back. So I'm going to take out uh, that much elastic. So I think it was five and a half on each side, uh, which would end up being 11. Um, and then that would add a nice, really gathered piece back here it would be super cute. So it's going to be gathered in the front and then gathered in the back. So what I'm going to do is find the center point here. I'm just going to mark it because I didn't need to take that off. So write down that white line or white stripe. And then I will just take out a little bit, pull the elastic out, downsize it, and then tuck it back in.
Okay, this is the finished top. So here's the back, and I love all the gathers. And then this is the front. Now this is a top, so you can wear it with pants or shorts or leggings. I like the adjustable top that you can wear it, wear it really gathered or you know flattened out. Um, I wanted to show you the inside of the hem because what I did was I marked it at one centimeter, which I don't usually do that. I don't usually go by the metric system, but because the left needle on my machine aligns so closely to that edge right there because I was trying to eliminate having to trim off any fabric or or too much and it didn't leave a lot left so I don't have to trim it which is awesome so anyway this is the finished garment and I love it and I hope that um, I find the right people at the farmers market okay okay let's look at the pattern the only thing that I could see in putting this thing together is they required the wrong size elastic um, I did change the way it's hemmed because they wanted you to fold it up and fold it up again but I've always had problems doing that when you're especially when you're using such a little bit of a fa of fabric to do the fold the small fold so I just did it once and use the double needle and that works perfect for me now right here it's top C that's a half a yard of half inch elastic am I missing something you know I'm I'm always thinking I'm the one that's missing something or I'm making a mistake but I don't think so uh, it required the fabric suggestions are cotton cotton blends shally seersucker gingham chambray and then it says additional fabric may be needed to match stripes, plaids, or one-way fabric. I have stripes, but they don't need to be matched up. It's not that kind of stripe. So overall, it was super easy to put together. I did change the way I made the spaghetti strap and the way I hemmed it. And the next time... I make it I will just know not to use a half a yard of the elastic so um, and this right here on the pattern piece it says the waist for a size 6 is 36 and a half just the elastic was the only problem there so I'm I'm looking forward to making this again like I said I will just know not to use that much elastic so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up um, leave a comment with any thoughts you have and don't forget to subscribe thanks